What's up guys, Alex here with another video. Sorry I couldn't post up a tutorial last week because school started on Thursday and I've been really busy lately with all my homework. And since this is my junior year of high school, you probably know that junior year is the busiest year out of all four years in high school and because of that, I'll only be able to post around one video per week if I can manage it. And uh, most of those videos are going to be Sony Vegas videos since uh, my Cinema 40 tutorials usually take more work um, into making them so for now I'll be doing more Sony Vegas videos and I'll put a hold on my Cinema 40 uh, beginner series. So today's mini little tutorial will be on how to do the jitter slash uh, automatic flashing effect and it's all using one simple plugin. Now before you start in order to kind of get the effect to pop out more you need to uh, basically have footage that's slowed down to about 1% of its original speed uh, preferably using or actually sorry preferably using Twixter and the footage I'm going to be using is this one you can see I slowed it down to about 1% so it's really slow and because of this um, uh, the plugin that I'm going to use uh, the jitter plugin uh, basically what it does it uh, uses the footage and it makes it go up and down but the movements on the plugin will only allow it to uh, make it go up and down a little bit. It doesn't really shake that much. So that's why I applied it to a clip that's really slowed down to about 1% so that you can see it better. And the flashing effect, it's in the same plugin too, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So let's go into our video effects tab and go down to film effects. And before we set this reset to none plugin on our footage, you want to go ahead and uh, cut your footage around the area that you want the effect to be. Since this is an automatic flashing and camera shake, uh, you want to go ahead and select your footage and press S anywhere you want the effect to start and then go to another piece of your footage and click S so that you have around three separate video clips. Now on the main clip where you're going to apply the effect to, you want to go ahead and select your plugin and drop it onto the footage. Now you don't want to uh, increase the amount in grain and tint. That will increase the noise, of course, and the color of the actual plugin. But what's really important is the type. Now if you go to type, you want to go ahead and click on this little drop down menu and you see a list of little different options you have dust flicker hair jitter and scratches now the two plugins i use in my example are called flicker and jitter jitter is the basically the camera shake so if i select it and i increase the amount it's going to uh, slightly shake the footage as you can see right here and you don't need a keyframe this plugin since uh, the amount of the jitter is automatic so the more you increase the amount you increase the frequency of how much of the jitter movements are on the footage and the less you amount it the less it will shake so no keyframing necessary at all and same goes for the flicker if I put it all the way up, it's going to look alright. And one other thing, you can't change the color of the flash. Um, it's set to white, but if you want it to make it look better, of course, uh, you can always apply a color correction uh, to your footage and the flash. As you saw in the example video, it will look like that. So that's the end of this short tutorial. Again, I'm sorry I couldn't make a full length tutorial. Uh, for any special effects. Uh, I'll have pretty much two ideas that I might want to do for my next Sony Vegas video. So again, if you want to learn how to do something in Sony Vegas, just please post your suggestions out in the comments down below. And if you have any help with any part of this video, ask me in the comments again, and I'll probably respond to them. So stay active, guys, and I'll try and make more Sony Vegas videos.